Recently, Mailer Press was released, and I covered that in a previous video, which you can check out here, link in the description down below. Today, I wanted to go over some of the key updates that have been brought out with version 1.1. There are some nice new features here. It's enhanced some of the features we saw in the original, and also added some of those extra features that were being requested and were on the roadmap. So let's take a little look at some of those key changes. First things first, the new dashboard. There's been a lot of changes and updates to this particular section. As you can see, there's a lot more information to you and it is fully customizable. You'll notice that when we're inside here, we have these two options in the top right hand corner, edit widgets and customize. If we choose customize, you can see now we can easily adjust the size of these. For example, we wanna make that larger so we can customize the overall look of this to get exactly what you want. Get your most important information at the top, your least important at the bottom, but we can go further. If we say done editing and we choose edit widgets, this is where we can customize the number of columns we've got, what widgets are actually being shown inside you. So for example, we may want to have three columns. We may want to change the order of these widgets. So for example, we want to move up our quick actions. We'll drop that. Maybe we want to get rid of total contacts. You can disable it. Once disabled, you'll see they drop to the bottom for available widgets. So we can customize this to get exactly what we are looking for from our dashboard. There's probably lots of information here you have absolute need for, and maybe some things that are not quite so important. Once you've got the way you want, click the done editing and you are finished. So we now have our own customized dashboard. Pretty nice. And one of the things that featured inside the roadmap was the custom fields. Now, I think some people, maybe myself included, thought this was going to integrate with things like advanced custom fields, ACPT, those kinds of things. What it actually means is we have custom fields that we can add in to our contacts. So if we come into our audience, there's a new option inside here called custom fields. If we open this, you'll see we can now add our first custom field in. So we'll add one in and we'll say this is going to be the company they work for. Maybe we're a business to business and we want to make sure we've got the company info. Well, we can add that in. So let's do that. We can choose from three different field types, text, number and date. If you think you need more or you have any specific use cases, drop a comment down below because I'd love to know and I'm sure the developers behind MailerPress will also be checking out those comments. So for this example, text is perfectly fine. We'll say save field and you'll see, let's add one more in just for good measure, add a new field in and we'll call this department. Text again is perfectly fine, hit save field and we've now added in a couple of custom fields. Now if we go into our contacts, open up a contact. Inside here, you can see under our contact information, we now have company and department. So we can open this up and add those in. And obviously they can be added in during the actual sign up process as well. So for this example, we say John works for marketing at Google, hit save. And we now have that info stored inside this. And we can also use these inside our emails to target those. For example, if we wanted to add in the company name and the department and so on, we could do that by using the new merge tags. Open that up. You can see if we scroll down, there's our custom fields so we can insert that. And there we go, there's the merge tag inserted in. We can now have that be in reference when we send the emails out and we can have as many custom fields as we need to make a rich user experience. We can also use those tags to actually work with segmentation. So if we open the segmentation option and say a new segment, we may say we want to reference a particular company. So we'll call this Google and we'll say, and it's fine, add a condition in, select our field, you can see there's our custom field options. Choose our operator if you need to. We'll say we want to select the company and we're going to say the value has to be Google in this example and we can save our segment. So we've now created a segment that targets only Google employees. So those custom fields open up some really useful options, not only for putting that contact into the emails we send out, but also for the segmentation. So you could easily create quite complex segmentation based upon any custom field or custom fields that you create alongside any other fields that are native to MailerPress. So those are some of the key new features added into 1.1 of MailerPress. There are still additional options that I haven't covered in this video. I would recommend taking a look at the change log. I'll link that down below. But what are your thoughts? Are these features the things that you're asking for and looking for to be able to use MailerPress? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as new updates are released with key new features added in, I'll release some more videos on that topic. As always, all comments, questions, and feedback, drop them in the comment section below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.